Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're answering your questions. Today's question is an interesting one. It's, what should I do after a strikeout? Should I walk back to the dugout or should I jog back to the dugout? Uh, this player has been told to, to jog back to the dugout or run back to the dugout. And so I'm gonna give you my quick opinion. Now I'll preface this by saying, I don't really have an exact rhyme or reason for why this should be done. All I know is that at a high level, this is what happens. Not to say that everything that happens at a high level of baseball is the exact way to do it. Um, but I know as a coach, I'm not gonna yell at somebody if they run back to the dugout. We've got a player, Jack Fillion, you know who you are. I've had, we've actually talked to Jack before about this. Jack thinks it's more intimidating to jog back to the dugout after a strikeout than walk back. I've personally only walk back to the dugout after a strikeout. I think if you watch the major leagues, you're gonna see 100% of players walk back to the dugout. What is the reason for that? I don't know if there's a real reason, uh, but I just know that I, th I personally think it looks a little bit more professional. When I see somebody run back to the dugout, I typically think of uh, a, young, a young player, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 years old. Hey, I know there's plenty of coaches out there that tell their players to run back to the dugout after a strikeout, especially at those levels. If your coach says that, listen to your coach. Don't tell them that I said to walk back to the dugout. But for me personally, first off, I swing and miss or I take a pitch that I don't like. I'm pretty upset. And so I'm gonna take my sweet time. Not my sweet time, I shouldn't say my sweet time. But I'm, if I swing and miss, right, Ah, oh, I swing and miss, now I'm all upset. Here's my pace back to the dugout. It's about that right there, okay? Again, why do you do that? I don't know why you do that. I just think that's the way you do it, right? Um, I, <laughs> I always joke around with Jack when he strikes out, you know, and he, <sighs> and he runs back to the dugout, and I say, Jack, how do you run back to the dugout like that after you strike out? And, and he says, he told me it was more intimidating, but also, I guess it's just him not getting down by one at bat and just getting over it really quickly. And that's fine. Hey, if you want to do that, I'm not going to yell at him. I didn't tell him to walk back to the dugout. Um, I just know that I'm walking back to the dugout after a strikeout. So let me know. Again, I don't have any scientific reason for this. I'm just going from experience of watching thousands and thousands of players strike out and myself striking out a whole lot of times. I think you should walk back to the dugout first jogging or running back to the dugout. But let me know what you think in the comment section below and let me know what your coach tells you. Has your coach ever yelled at you and said that you should run back to the dugout or jog back? Or maybe you do, do, do that and your coach has yelled at you and said, no, you walk back to the dugout after a strikeout. Let me know in the comment section below. That's all I got. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later.